Are you sick of copying and pasting visuals from out of Power BI into PowerPoint to create a deck? Hey, are you even, did you even know that there's an embedded app that allows you to like actually connect Power BI right into PowerPoint? Well, there is, but there's always kind of like a little flaw. Like you had to like, if you're going to share the deck with people outside your organization or you're going to email it around, if people didn't have access to the Power BI report, you'd have to like save it as a picture. And then to refresh it, you'd have to go back through the PowerPoint slide by slide and change it back to Power BI, hit refresh, and then say, you know, save it all back over again. It was a huge pain in the neck and it was a big problem. Well, 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 well. Today, we're going to solve that problem for you. I, straight up, I can't wait to show it to you. It's awesome. All right, welcome Chris B. My name is Chris Wagner. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. For as little as, little as $5 a month, you can get early access to this content, okay? So uh, become a member. It really helps me out. I'm here helping you. Why don't you help me? All right. Okay. So here's my report. I want to show you how amazing it is to be able to embed this inside a PowerPoint. Okay. So a few things you need to do first. First thing is the, the report has to be published to the service. So you go out to publish to the service. Where are you? Boom. Haha. <laughs> Magic. I've already published out to the service. Really great. Now, when I go to export, I go PowerPoint and I get this nice little embed bed link. I can copy it. I can go back over to my report and I can actually put it into my PowerPoint. I'm going to show that to you. Where the heck did I close my PowerPoint? No, it is. Here it is right here. Boom, 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 boom. I can embed it right inside my Power, Power, PowerPoint right here. It's all embedded in. And all I do in order to do that let me just show you how. Is it's an add-on right here? Just go to add-ons, click on. Oh, you're gonna have to search for Power BI. Here we go. It's a Power BI right now. Boom. I paste it right in here. Insert. And now I've got it in a second time. I don't need a second time. I can do that one. So you can embed an entire report, or if you want. Like, let's say I want to uh, embed just this visual. I focus in on the visual, go to PowerPoint, copy that item, go back, and I do the same thing. I go to my add-ins, my Power, uh, Power BI, click on paste, insert it, and boom, I'll have embedded uh, just, just the tile, right? So you don't need to, I don't need to show it to you because I've, I've got, I've already got it set up here. There's one on this page and one on the other. But like I said, if I wanted, or actually wanted to like save this as a picture, I'd have to like go in and, oh gosh, where did that little button go? I'd have to open it up and I'd have to go down to this live data. Do you see this little button, this live data button right here? I'd have to go and I'd have to change it to a public snapshot. Not terribly hard, but like not super easy when you have to go and do it for each of these uh, each visual that you have because it's like this is a simplified version with just two It's very easy if you're talking about a deck that you publish for like your board on a monthly basis for you to have hundreds of slides Well, this is where the power bi controller and powerpoint comes in and again, this is a microsoft add-in you just go to add in you type in It's the control so, yeah, Power BI control, control, and you can actually see it here. I've already selected it. So I click on this and it's going to like pop up and it's going to make it really easy for me. I get to select an oper uh, operation. I could say uh, reset everything or I can say change my view mode. Now, look at this. Now I have in one place where I could say, hey, I want everything to be live data or change it over to a public snapshot. Oops, let me duck. See, I've got public snapshot. I click on apply. It's going to run and do its little thing. It's bouncing around, going from visual to visual, changing it over, and then boom, it's going to show all the ones that, that are done. And I can actually see it in the sidebar here. And I can go over and I can see, oh, 
now my visual here is just a picture. It's all set up as a picture. I can PDF this up. I can send this out to people and people have access to all the stuff that's in my power, uh, PowerPoint just like they normally would. Super easy, very, uh, very simple. And then all I gotta do is just hit reset, sync with the Power BI view, hit apply. Well, now sync isn't available because there's not been an update. So, you know, it doesn't do that. But if my data had updated, it would run through and update all of my Power BI reports and I'd be done, done, done. That's it. My monthly Power BI report would be, would be created. This is amazing. This is the Power BI controller. It's in PowerPoint. It's something super amazing. You got to check it out. All right, did you find this useful? I know I did. The second I saw this, I, I'm like, I gotta do a video on this. This is awesome. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Super excited about this. Also, let me know, are you going to FabCon? It's in Atlanta this year. I'm gonna be there. They just announced SQLCon. It's gonna be at the exact same place. So like you can go and totally get your uh, Azure SQL or SQL on. Um, uh, so your DBAs out there, they're, like, they, they have a whole ton of tracks they're gonna be doing dedicated to SQL. It's all at this at SQLCon, same place, same location in Atlanta. It's going to be a great time. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be there. I'd love to see, see you there. You have the best day ever. Peace. All right, and I get it. This stuff is confusing. There's a lot of stuff out there. If you need help, don't worry. I can help you out there. Head over to bakertilly.com and uh, slash digital click on I need some help or get me more information make sure you list me as a reference I'll be sure to help you out but if you think you can do it I got faith in you I've got a couple videos right here that you, sh that you should check out they will help you out and you too can become a data guide